Mua Mua, which is an object that we detected in space that you believe could possibly have been extraterrestrial in origin, meaning from some sort of a civilization. For ages, humans have wondered if we're the only ones in the vast universe. When we look up at the stars at night, we wonder if there are other beings out there hidden in faraway galaxies. But we never had much proof of this until Umuamua showed up. It appeared out of nowhere, stayed for a bit, and then zipped away into space again. Joe Rogan, who hosts a popular podcast called Joe Rogan Experience, has now revealed that Umuamua has suddenly returned and is heading toward Earth. Why is this strange object making its way back to our planet? Join us as we unravel the secrets of Umuamua's sudden show and its contact with Earth. Umuamua, a celestial object, has puzzled scientists and stargazers alike. Its name, which means a messenger from far away arriving first, hints at its mysterious origins. This space traveler hails from the depths of interstellar space, the vast realm between stars lying beyond our solar system. While it's not uncommon for objects from interstellar space to occasionally wander into our solar neighborhood, Umiwamiwa's arrival caught everyone off guard, leaving us scratching our heads in bewilderment. What initially caught the attention of scientists was Umiwamiwa's peculiar appearance. Rather than the typical rounded or irregular shape of asteroids, it boasted a striking elongated form resembling a sausage or hot dog. This departure from the norm sparked intense curiosity. Initially classified as an asteroid, Umiwamiwa's distinct shape and its unconventional path around the Sun challenged this classification. Unlike asteroids, which obediently orbit within our solar system, Umiwamiwa seemed to chart its course, hinting at a level of craftsmanship or engineering beyond what they typically observe in space rocks. As discussions surrounding Umiwamiwa unfolded, it became clear that this celestial wanderer defied easy explanations sparking controversy among scientists and astronomers. Its extraordinary characteristics and its refusal to adhere to conventional norms catapulted it into the spotlight of scientific inquiry. Even well-known figures like Joe Rogan found themselves captivated by the mysteries surrounding this cosmic visitor. He asked Avi Loeb, a smart physicist and writer from Israel and America, to talk about Umuamua on his podcast. Avi Loeb did a great job explaining what Umuamua might be and whether it could be from outer space. It was tough to learn more about Umuamua because it left our solar system quickly. But now, surprisingly, Umuamua is back and sending signals to Earth. Joe Rogan, who did a lot of research recently, talked about Umuamua on his show. He shared many interesting facts about this strange thing. They're excited to learn more about Umiwamua and what might happen if it contacts Earth. When Umiwamua came into our solar system, it didn't behave like other space objects. Usually, they move at steady speeds, compared to other things in space. But Umiwamua was different, moving at its own pace. This made scientists wonder if it was a comet, which is a frozen object in space that develops a tail when it gets close to the sun and starts to heat up. Scientists initially thought Umuamua, a mysterious object that flew through our solar system, was a comet because it was moving so fast. But unlike most comets, it didn't have the usual tail of gas trailing behind it. Instead of behaving like a typical comet, Umuamua seemed to be moving strangely. Some scientists thought maybe it was shooting gas out from its sunny side, sort of like a rocket. But they couldn't find any evidence of this gas or a tail. If Umiwamua truly was a comet, scientists would have expected it to show certain signs that are common among comets. Even though it came from outside our solar system, it didn't behave like a comet at all, leaving scientists scratching their heads and searching for other explanations. In 2019, scientists discovered a new comet from another star system, which they named 2i Borisov. This comet was quite the wanderer, behaving like a typical comet but with a twist. It had a tail, 14 times larger than Earth. Unlike its predecessor, Umiwamua, which stirred up quite a fuss, this comet had broken apart several times over its journey through space. Umiwamua, when it made its grand entrance into our cosmic neighborhood in 2017, didn't fit the mold of either an asteroid or a comet. It left astronomers scratching their heads. But then came a new idea, 
perhaps it was a piece of a planet from some distant star system. A massive collision between an asteroid and a far-off planet sent bits and pieces hurtling through space. The story of Oumuamua began on a clear night in October 2017 when scientists at the Pan Stars 1 Observatory in Hawaii first laid eyes on it. This observatory, armed with one of the most powerful digital cameras in the world, is like a guardian scanning the heavens for any signs of trouble heading our way. So when they spotted this strange object zipping through our solar system, they knew they were onto something big. And thus, Umiwamua was christened, marking the beginning of a captivating cosmic mystery. At first, scientists thought Umiwamua looked like a rolling sausage in space. But a few days later, they discovered its real shape when it zipped through our solar neighborhood. Turns out, it wasn't shaped like a cigar as they initially thought. Instead, it was more like a flat pancake. As Umiwamua neared the sun on September 9, 2017, it zoomed at an incredibly fast speed, about 196,000 miles per hour. Its path around the sun hinted that it wasn't just moving because of gravity, it seemed to have come from outside our solar system. The idea that it might be an alien visitor caused quite a stir among scientists and the public. Oumuamua's movement didn't match that of typical comets or other space rocks. It seemed to be deliberately speeding up, almost as if it wanted to escape the sun's heat and head back home to wherever it came from. These strange behaviors made many people think that Oumuamua might be an alien spaceship exploring our solar system. Some people started thinking that maybe this thing Oumuamua wasn't just some ordinary space rock. They tossed around the idea that perhaps it was a visitor from another part of the galaxy, kind of like our spacecraft, but from an alien civilization. Instead of regular fuel, they figured it might run on some strange energy they hadn't discovered yet. Trying to figure out where Umiwamua came from and how old it was turned out to be a real puzzle. It zoomed past us so fast that catching a sample or getting a good look at it up close was totally out of the question. Even with our best telescopes on Earth, they couldn't get a clear picture because Umiwamua was just too far away and too blurry. Avi Loeb from Harvard had this theory that Umiwamua was a spaceship with a giant sail, kind of like how boats use sails to catch the wind. But instead of wind, this sail would catch sunlight and use it to push the spaceship along. According to Loeb, the sunlight bouncing off Umiwamua would give it a little push, moving it through space. But there were some problems with this idea. Like how sunlight can only push really small light things, and Umiwamua was neither small nor light. However, imagine a civilization much more advanced than ours. In such a scenario, the restrictions we face with current technology might not hold sway. It's conceivable that a spacecraft as massive as Oumuamua could be propelled solely by harnessing solar radiation, even without the need for visible solar sails. Despite the fascinating idea of an alien spacecraft, the scientific community approached it with caution and doubt. This isn't to dismiss the idea entirely but rather to uphold the rigorous standards of scientific inquiry. After all, extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. Without concrete proof or direct observation, the theory of an alien spacecraft orbiting Oumuamua remains speculative. In science, there's a principle called Occam's razor, which suggests that the simplest explanation is often the most probable. Applying this principle to Oumuamua, it's more likely that it's a natural, albeit peculiar, object rather than an extraterrestrial craft. To delve deeper into the mystery surrounding Umiwamua's origin and properties, scientists turned to advanced computer simulations and modeling. By meticulously analyzing the available data and running various simulations, researchers aimed to recreate and comprehend Umiwamua's trajectory and behavior. These simulations provided invaluable insights into the potential composition, shape, and origins of the object. They served as crucial tools in unraveling the enigma surrounding Umiwamua. In October of 2018, a study was released in a fancy journal called the Astrophysical Journal Letters. It talked about this thing called Umiwamua, which had been puzzling scientists. They came up with a pretty cool idea about what it might be. They said Umiwamua could be made up of tiny pieces of dust sticking together. Imagine a bunch of dust particles hanging out in space and then joining forces, because of some electric stuff. 
This would explain why Umuamua looks so weird and doesn't have a tail, like most other space objects. But while scientists were getting excited about this natural explanation, some people still thought maybe Umuamua was something made by aliens. There was this project called Breakthrough Listen that got interested in finding any signals from Umuamua that might be from aliens. They looked hard but didn't find anything. So, the mystery of Umuamua being an alien thing didn't pan out. As time went by, Umuamua got farther and farther away from us, and it became tricky to study it anymore. Eventually, it just got too faint and too far away to see properly, leaving lots of questions still hanging in the air. The strange object known as Umuamua, which comes from way outside our solar system, keeps puzzling scientists as they try to figure out where it comes from. At first, experts thought maybe Umiwamua came from a super bright star called Vega, which is part of the Lyra constellation. Vega has a bunch of leftover stuff spinning around it, which made it seem like a good guess for where Umiwamua started its journey. They thought maybe it took about 600,000 years for Umiwamua to travel all the way here. But now, new things have come up that make scientists question whether Umiwamua came from Vega. So, they're looking into lots of other ideas. Some scientists think maybe Umuamua has been traveling around our galaxy for billions of years, going past more than 20,000 other stars during its journey that lasted hundreds of thousands of years. Even though that sounds like forever, it's not much compared to how old our galaxy is, about 10 billion years, with something like 200 billion stars. Because Umuamua has been traveling for so long, Astronomers think maybe it's never been to our part of space before. This idea gets support from how Oumuamua moves. It's similar to how other stars move when they zip past our sun quickly. To uncover the mysteries behind where Oumuamua came from, scientists have meticulously tracked its path before it entered our solar system. Corin Baylor-Jones from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy took on the challenging task of studying Oumuamua's journey. He reconstructed their paths around the galaxy and looked for any intersections or similarities with Umiwamiwa's route. This thorough investigation led to the identification of four potential candidates whose paths closely resembled Umiwamiwa's rewound trajectory. Among these candidates, one is thought to be where Umiwamiwa originated from. Although confirming its birthplace remains a complicated puzzle. While examining the data, Baylor Jones made an interesting discovery. He found that Umiwamiwa's path aligned with a region between 1 to 2 Oort cloud radii or 100,000 to 200,000 astronomical units. Moreover, the speeds at which Umiwamiwa encountered each of these potential origin candidates were remarkably high, ranging from 6 to 16 miles per hour, posing a perplexing challenge for scientists. The quest to uncover Umiwamiwa's true origins presses on fueled by the anticipation of forthcoming Gaia data that might illuminate this cosmic secret. With more information from Gaia, astronomers can better pinpoint where this celestial wanderer came from, offering deeper insights into the movements of neighboring stars and possibly yielding more definitive answers. Yet, regardless of where it came from, one compelling question persists, what force propelled Umuamua across the vast expanse of space, severing it from its celestial home? Scientists have put forth various captivating theories to account for the swift journey of this mysterious interstellar guest. One idea proposes that Umiwamua could have formed from a cataclysmic clash between two cosmic bodies. Another theory suggests that a powerful supernova explosion might have hurled Umiwamua from its original position, marking it as the initial emissary from distant corners of the universe to grace our solar system. Some even liken Umuamua to be a forewarning of disaster, similar to roaming asteroids that might pose future threats to Earth. The story gets even more exciting when astronomers like Garrett Levine from Yale University suggest a fascinating possibility, Umuamua might be made up of bits of ice ejected from distant planets' rocky rings, now making their way into our solar system as space debris. In 2017, Project Lyra took off, inspired by Umuamua, with one clear mission creating a spaceship that could zoom through space to meet interstellar objects like Oumuamua and 2i Borisov. They plan to use an innovative, light-sail spacecraft that catches the sun's rays to propel itself. The goal is to launch this special spacecraft between 2030 and 2033. 
aiming to rendezvous with Oumuamua by 2047 or 2049. The exciting part is we're on the brink of achieving this grand feat thanks to leaps and bounds in spaceship technology. Take LightSail 2, for instance. It's a tiny spacecraft powered entirely by sunlight that has completed a whopping 18,000 laps around Earth, covering 8 million kilometers. This little marvel can zip tiny probes through space by bouncing powerful lasers off its sails. With advancements in spacecraft technology, they might soon have a ship quick enough to reach Umuamua. Yet, recent findings suggest we might not need to journey to it at all. It seems Umuamua could be heading our way on its path, which raises concerns. Despite currently hovering near Neptune, there's worry it might loop back towards Earth. If that happens, numerous possibilities emerge, along with their potential consequences. It's crucial to acknowledge our limited understanding of this object and what it's truly capable of. Rogan's genuine interest spans a wide range of topics, from science and politics to comedy and spirituality. This diversity invites guests from all walks of life to engage in stimulating discussions. Recently, the scientific community and enthusiasts alike have been captivated by the mysterious object called Umuamua. With no definitive answers, the idea that this strange entity might come from outer space has become a fascinating possibility. Rogan, always drawn to such interesting concepts, feels compelled to dive deeper into the topic. What's particularly interesting is that even the head of the Pentagon's UFO office has acknowledged the presence of a potential extraterrestrial mothership in our solar system. This lends credibility to the idea. Furthermore, the idea that these extraterrestrial beings might be deploying tiny probes to explore celestial bodies, similarly to our space missions, adds another layer of fascination to the discussion. In a recent study, Sean Michael Kirkpatrick, who oversees investigations into strange occurrences for the Pentagon, joins Harvard professor Avi Loeb in suggesting something remarkable about Oumuamua. They propose it might be a spaceship made by aliens far more advanced than us. However, not everyone agrees. Some scientists argue that traveling between stars is so difficult that it's unlikely any aliens would bother. Others say that since we haven't picked up any radio signals from Oumuamua, it's probably just a rock. But maybe those aliens don't want to be found. Maybe they're deliberately staying quiet. Rogan, known for asking big questions, wonders if Umuamua is trying to tell us something. Could it be a sign that we need to explore more to learn more about the universe? Maybe it's a test to see how far we've come technologically. Rogan also points out that exploring space isn't just about discovery. It also pushes us to invent new things and catches the eye of rich people who want to invest in cool projects. When Umiwamua zipped through our solar system, scientists from all over the world worked together to study it. It was a moment that showed how well we can work together when something strange happens in space. This experience taught us an important lesson, always be ready to decode any hidden messages or signals within similar objects when encountering visitors from outer space in the future. Joe Rogan emphasizes how space exploration involves people and resources from all over the world. The sudden appearance of Oumuamua sparked the curiosity of astronomers, astrophysicists, and researchers everywhere. It was a reminder of how vast and complex the universe is, urging us to come together in our quest for understanding. If Oumuamua turns out to be an alien spaceship, its ability to speed up as it approaches the sun, almost leaving our solar system, opens up fascinating possibilities. If extraterrestrial beings are controlling it, they might have the capability to travel at incredibly fast speeds consistently, potentially reaching Earth in record time. The initial outcome would be tremendously disastrous if this object from space were to crash into Earth. It would cause widespread damage, such as landslides, mudslides, and other terrible consequences. Imagine if this thing is a spaceship. We might find ourselves in a situation straight out of a space invasion story. The potential impacts of such an occurrence are significant and completely unknown. We can't even begin to guess what kind of illnesses, germs, or lethal bugs these extraterrestrial beings might introduce. They might even come from civilizations way more advanced than ours, like the ones we see in sci-fi films. While all of this is just guessing, 
we can't ignore these ideas, especially since a respected scientist was convinced that this object was indeed a spaceship from another world. But if it turns out to be just a regular space rock or a fragment of some shattered planet, then our only worry would be dealing with the aftermath of the crash. Do you believe this thing could be a spaceship, and do you reckon it might come back and crash into Earth? Let us have your ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching another episode of channel. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.